A former climate activist who worked for many years for Extinction Rebellion writes for the Free Press that climate activists have a cult problem. And she writes because her specifically was part of this cult. She grew up and she lived in this world where campaigning and, and all these other items, if we can just save the planet, we are going to save the world. And she spoke of the ways that this eco-devotion has raised to a religious fervor you don't even see in most mainline churches. This idea of gluing yourself or dumping tomatoes soup on things are really acting like if we don't do this right now the world is going to end. Zion writes for the Free Press and says how this is all very much a stunt. How people are trained to do this. Bring crying mothers on camera. Bring your children. Make sure that you get seen because if it can go viral online you can get a lot of money and a lot of power and she says her experience is that they try to guilt you into doing this. They use people with wealth and influence and guilt them to show how carbon rich their lifestyles are. And if you do this, you can get rid of your guilt. If you subscribe to this eco-religion, you can get rid of the guilt after all the privilege you have. Is that a really a way you want to live? Psalm 119, sin and shin. I rejoice over your sayings like one who finds much plunder. This world is going to weaponize guilt against you and they have institutions that do this. But God's grace for you is guilt destroying. I rejoice over your sayings as one who finds much plunder that the grace of God is freely given to me. No matter how much privilege or success or honor or value or how big your house is or how many cars you have or how much the world wants to use that against you, God's grace is for you and me. It is worthy of rejoicing. It is like plunder found in a field because this is God's gift to me eternally. He does not weaponize guilt against you. No, the world does that. God wants to get, get that guilt away through the life, death, and resurrection of his son.